Hi, this is John. This demo is an overview of Crawlbot, the easiest way to extract data from entire websites. So here we are in the Crawlbot interface. Now there's a lot of bells and whistles here, but for this demo, we're only going to focus on the most important components to help you kick off a crawl as quickly as possible. So the first thing we need when starting a crawl is a crawl name. And so in this example, we're going to assume we're crawling a mythical diffbotshopping.com, an e-commerce bonanza. And so the name of our crawl, well, let's call it Diffbot Shopping. And once we do that, the next field underneath is just as important. This is where our crawl should start. Which page, which URL do we want our spiders to start from? Well, diffbotshopping.com. Now, if you'd like, you can enter multiple URLs if you want to crawl multiple sites within the same crawl. Uh, or if you want to start your spiders at different spots within a site, but usually one URL is fine. And then we've got to decide which API, which diffbot API, do we want to process pages of diffbotshopping.com through. Now there's a lot of options. You can process articles, products, images, but typically for the easiest uh, crawl, uh, you want to use the diffbot analyze API. What the analyze API does is, is it first visually analyzes each page of the site, and then identifies which pages are supported by diffbot extraction APIs, which pages are articles, which pages are images, uh, in this case, which pages are products. So by using the Analyze API on diffbotshopping.com, we can ensure that only the product pages on diffbot shopping are going to be extracted via the product API, whereas other pages, uh, the home page, uh, any listing pages, uh, an FAQ page, other pages that we don't care too much about, those are going to be discarded as they aren't supported pages by a diffbot API and they really don't have that much information on them that we care about. So the Analyze API is going to automatically find and extract all those products for us. Now once we've done that, we can scroll on down. You can certainly look at all these fields to control your crawl. We'll cover that in other demos. Uh, but I'm going to limit our crawl here uh, to just a thousand pages to process. I don't want it to process the entire site. Let's just look for a thousand pages or so. Uh, the default there is a hundred thousand and you can set that as high or as low as you like. Uh, and then I'd like to be notified when this crawl finishes, when we're done crawling Diffbot Shopping. So I'm going to enter my email address in the email notification field and then hit go. And then once you do, you'll see within Crawlbot, uh, each crawl has its own dashboard and that shows you the status of your crawl uh, as well as how many pages it's evaluated that have been processed through the Diffbot API. If you'd like, you can download a full report of every single URL that Crawlbot has analyzed while it's gone through its site. Uh, and then, of course, during a crawl, or if you would like to wait until the end, that's fine as well, you can download the full, clean JSON extractions uh, of, the, of the crawl, or you can download a CSV, if you'd like to pull it into Excel, of the crawl data. That's it for our basic overview of Crawlbot. Check out our other demos for information on more advanced crawlbot techniques and other diffbot products.